A small St. John Parish community is still dealing with the realities of a deadly crash involving a school bus. It took the life of a beloved community member. Mike McDaniel spoke with her family as they try to make sense of the tragedy. Tire marks and downed highway signs showed the spot Monday where a deadly school bus crash happened in reserve. That's my name. You know how we feel about our nannies and our power and this superman, superwoman. Darius Patterson Sr. and Kiara Joseph say their great aunt, 67-year-old Beverly Creasy, was running errands Friday afternoon when a St. John Parish school bus crashed into her SUV. She was taken to the hospital where she died. Getting out there, it was, uh, you know, to see the kids uh, off the bus. No one was hurt, uh, but they was, they were just, they were just quiet. So, you know, I knew it was bad. These photos show how bad it was. State police say the bus was turning right onto Highway 44 from East 22nd Street. That's when police say, for an undetermined reason, the bus veered into Creasy's eastbound path on Highway 44. The bus driver was taken to the hospital and treated for minor injuries. Police say none of the 28 kids on the bus were injured. We feel for the young lady who was driving the bus. You know, that's a classmate of mine. You know, so it's, it's also a friend of the family. So yeah, it's a hurtful situation it's a, it's all a hurt, around. It's a, hurt, a hurtful it situation is. all the way around. St. John School's Superintendent Dr. Cleo Perry Jr. released a statement Monday saying in part, the district extends its heartfelt condolences to the families affected. The safety and well-being of our students and the community at large remains our focus. We have deployed mental health specialists such as eye care to East St. John High School this week. While there are still some unknowns for Creasy's family, they do know how well-loved she was in her community. She spent more than 30 years in the public school system, most of that time working with kids with special needs. Her smile, her, her character, like she, she hey, no one left out when she around. And she cut no corners, like she just tell it like it is. Yeah, she gonna tell it like it is, you know, whether you want to hear it or not. But uh, man, it, it's all out of love though. Knowing the love she had for her large family, now left behind, moving forward isn't easy. We're a large family. We're always together every Sunday, every holiday. It's always us. And just to not have her there is just, it won't be the same. It won't. Mike McDaniel, WWL, Louisiana. As of this afternoon, there have been no charges filed because of this crash. And state police say there are no updates. The crash remains under investigation and toxicology results are pending.